I, I, li I really liked the first day because I got to know everybody who I lived with and I like I got to know my roommate and I really really like her a lot she's really really nice and we were getting along has been a midnight also like all the clubs come out and they promote to like so you can like join the club it's pretty cool not only that but like you also like um, get free things you don't pay for it like, hey <laughs> and um, it's also like a guitar hero playing on the side so yeah, it's pretty fun night. It would definitely be the first day of rowing practice. We actually didn't do any um, athletic practice or get in the water, but I just got a chance to meet all my teammates, and everybody was just so nice. And it was nice to just all of a sudden be part of such a huge group of friends. I'm loving my freshman year. I, I feel like I've become really close with um, all my housemates, and everybody's getting along pretty well and my classes are they're okay they're pretty fun they're, they're pretty much the same as high school but I feel like I have more control over like what I can do with my time instead of like doing homework all the time I feel like I can balance it better here it's been fun you know yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah um, I join clubs there's the EOP club um, Mecha club Pretty fun joining clubs, guys. They'll keep you busy. <laughs> yeah. And um, I also go to the events that they have here, like um, the movie nights that they have sometimes on Saturdays and Fridays. That's cool. Go with friends, hang out. Yeah. But because of classes and just living in the dorms, I, um, I'm really liking it here. College is completely different than high school because. <laughs> In college, you're you're on your own, and then you, you don't have your parents to boss you around or anything. And it just doesn't really compare to high school, just because it's like a d whole different world. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's totally different because um, in high school you have teachers like reminding you when tests are coming and the assignments, while in college teachers don't, don't really tell you that. So like, get to like through your syllabus, because it's all there. Yeah, because like, you're more like independent of yourself. Yeah. In high school, um, you live with your parents, obviously, and your teachers are like breathing down your neck about your assignments, and you have class every day. But in high or in college, you just have so much more freedom to do like whatever you want. You just have to be responsible for yourself and um, really just make sure that you take you get whatever you need to get done taken care of, and you don't have to listen to your parents nagging you about getting your homework done or being late to class or anything like that. You have a lot more freedom in, in college to do what you want, and it's it's a good thing and a bad thing because you you have to do all your homework in high school. Like, you have to do all of this stuff, and you have to, um, like, be there. But in college, you don't have to be here. This is all voluntary, and, um, like, we're living away from home. That's another big difference. Um, we, I don't know, you have to decide if you want to go to class one day or not. Like, you could just decide not to, but in high school, you had to go every day. Activities join as many clubs as possible because you get because like you're gonna get bored, no lie. Join clubs and like it keeps you busy. Getting involved like on a team or in a club or an intramural is um, a great way to start out at least your freshman year, if not your whole career in college. I just recommend getting involved in whatever you're interested in. Well, there's so many things here. I, I think a lot of what some people say about. Snow is that you won't have a good time unless you get involved, and so far, I don't know because I've been involved, but I think it's true. I think you should just always get involved in whatever situation you're in, because whatever you put into a situation, that's what you get out of it. So, um, like I said, I joined crew, and that's been amazing. Um, but I know a lot of girls in my house do sororities, and they love it, and I think you just find what you're really, really interested in, and then look for things that... Um, have to do with that because it's really easy to find what you're looking for here. I try to meet new people every weekend um, and go to I go to my friends' houses and I, I stay here with my friends. We have a lot of movie nights in this house that are fun so we just go to our neighbors or random people and we ask them if they want to come over for a movie and we have popcorn and just... We come and hang out with friends. We, um, 
we'll, we'll go to the um, ASP or the residential life, which is right here at Rodell, and check out the different events that they're coming. Like at Pub, there's some open mics coming up, or check at Ice Hall when they have like the movie night. On the weekends, well, I usually go down to the city because uh, here at Rodell Park, it's the city's kind of dead. So I usually just drive down the city, have fun there. And then when I get back, you know, hit the bus and study. <laughs> Family nearby, so sometimes I'll go visit them or I'll go to San Francisco for some reason or another. Um, sometimes there's parties and um, I also work and go to crew practice. I sleep and we usually watch movies. Movies are our thing, so we watch movies. But if I ever go out, like, there's, I love, Runner Park is really small, but it's, there's like everything that you need. They have bowling alley, they have a movie theater, they have an ice skating rink like 10 minutes away, like the Russian River's right there, um, Sonoma's right there, if you're over 21 you can go like wine tasting or whatever, so I usually watch movies though and hang out here because it's just my time off from school and stuff like that. Um, when I was visiting schools, um, trying to decide where I wanted to go, I came to Sonoma, and obviously the dorms are incredible. They're nothing like the dorms you would see at San Francisco State or Santa Barbara. Well, and there's so many like good resources here. Like there's the Rec Center, which is like brand new and gorgeous and perfect for people who like to work out. Um, the library is huge and awesome. Um, you have like a really cool community that you get to live in and be a really like huge part of. Um. Um, I think Sonoma has a gorgeous campus, so I think that's something that separates it. And also, it's a I think it's smaller than most other schools, so it's got more um, like I don't know, work life or closer to the dorms are like mini apartments, and there's nothing like it. Even the um, smallest dorms that we have here are way better than um, the dorms that you would see at other schools and the campus is just gorgeous. Whatever you're interested in, they probably have a club or an activity that you're interested in, so just research it and they'll probably have it. Go to class. <laughs> um, I would say just really you're here for school, so really just focus on school because it can be really, really easy to get distracted with other things. So I would say stay in school and get involved with whatever interests you. And even if you don't have, you're like, I have no idea what interests me, you'll find, you can try a bunch of things out and find what you love, so. Sonoma's a great school, and I like it. I love Sonoma. Go Seawolves.